Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. Today is winter warm up with your next stamp. So we're playing with the brand new Fire Up the Fun stamp set and some beautiful cardstock by Paper Tray Ink and Simon Says Stamp. So we're taking this My Favorite Things Wave Background Die and Versamark Ink on some Paper Tray Ink, or no, this is Simon Says Stamp Sea Glass and we are just we're going to heat emboss i love using the spell binders as long as you're holding it the proper way um tool in one to use with my background stamps to get even pressure with the misty it really works out well anyway we are going to use wow silver pearl embossing powder on this sea glass uh background and um I, I thought about doing it for all the background, but I didn't like it. So just the blue. We're also going to use this My Favorite Things Blueprints 1 uh, die. It's like a large scallop. And we're taking the Your Next Stamp Grass Edge Border die. And we're going to cut this all down to create my, my background. So this is a piece of paper tray ink smoky shadow and I'm just making a mark with my beautiful Tombow Mono Graft 1 pencil. <laughs> I like it a lot. And we're going to cut some cloud, I think this is a memory box cloud bank die set. We're just going to cut some clouds out of this smoky shadow. And I'm not used to using this large <laughs> versa mark. But we're going to stamp the sentiment, you're my hero, on the largest cloud that I cut out. And we're going to white heat emboss this with a Hero Arts Ultra Fine White Embossing Powder. So I'm just making a mark. We're using the Waffle Flower Pull Tab Die Set and the little Sizzix Sidekick. And we're going to do some... <clears throat> uh, we're going to do some partial die cutting and with this little thing it makes it so easy uh this tab this die i should say cuts out a track system for their pull tab die i'm just erasing my mark and this this die creates the pull tab so you line it up with the edge of your card or background or whatever you're making the pull ta tab out of and you line it up and it cuts this little notch uh, the circular notch out. This die actually creates the pull tab. So I'm just lining it up to try to get the right size pull tab. So this little thing here is the track. Okay. So you pull up these, like I, they are tabs and you make them stand straight up and then they fit in that track that you partial die cut. It's, it's genius. So it creates a pull tab or a slider card without the hassle of the foam tape. And you don't lose any of your pennies. Not that they're super important, those pennies. So <clears throat> I need to cut this. This is like the bridge between those two tabs. Okay, so I cut that out of paper tray ink as well. I'm just using some um, Ranger Multimedia Matte. And you're going to put that little bridge across these two tabs. Very simple. So hold it there until it sets, starts to set and move it around so that you don't glue everything shut. So I'm trimming down that tab because I did make mine a little too long. And then this is the end of your pull tab. And that goes on the end. So I'm putting a Doodlebug Tiny Heart from their Shaped Sprinkles uh, collection, and that is creating my pull tab. That's going to go on the bottom of my card. So I'm stamping with Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink, the fire truck from the Fire Up the Fun uh, stamp set, and I'm stamping it on a piece of Nina 110 pound cardstock. I plan on using my Gold Faber colored pencils. This is my favorite pencil sharpener. It's so lame and I have no idea where I got it and it's probably, I'll never be able to purchase it again, but it is, makes the best colored pencil point better than any electric sharpener. 
So colored pencil coloring takes forever. Like it is a very long process. So I will not make you suffer through my coloring. <laughs> but basically I lay down some color and then I go over the areas that I want to be darker until I feel like they're a desired depth of darkness. Does that make sense? I hope so. And sometimes I use more than one shade. You don't have to. You can totally just use one color, colored pencil, to create all of the red shades on your project. You just have to keep going over those shadow areas multiple times. I also like to use this gray. It's a, it's a cool gray, but it makes perfect shadows. I love these colored pencils. They are an oil-based uh, colored pencil. So they're not as uh, soft as Prismacolor pencils. I love these for real. So I'm using coordinating dies to cut out my fire truck. And we're going to use some liquid adhesive to um, go across that bridge that we created and adhere my fire truck. This is gonna create the slider. So I hold it on there for a few seconds and then I try to move it around so that I don't adhere everything together so that I know that everything is still moving. Is that there? Yeah. And clean up your mess. Like I, I make a mess all the time. <laughs> okay. So I've got this background that we embossed and I put some double-sided tape on the back and we're putting it on a fog card base. And, um, then we're going to adhere the slider portion flat mind you without any foam foam tape to the grassy portion and it worked out really well um i make sure that you're not liquid adhesiving <laughs> your slider portion so you got to make sure that all of your liquid adhesive is towards the edge i used a really small slider piece so i made it more difficult for myself but it really isn't so you can create a slider without adding any dimension to your project with this die set so everything's still moving so I'm going to use some foam tape foam tape to pop up my grassy portion on my background and always test to make sure <laughs> things are still working somewhat like they're supposed to there we go Dexter saw a card. I was looking for inspiration on Pinterest and he saw a card very similar to this. I will link it in my blog post. And um, so I decided to kind of make my own fire truck slider creation for him and he really likes it. So I'm very happy. And that's it. I just adhered my clouds in like a, they're kind of smoky. <laughs> they're like smoke coming off in the distance. Um, please find me on Instagram for um, just some pictures of my projects. Um, there's also uh, my blog post will have still photographs of my projects. And coming up next is a family vlog of just us goofing around in my master bedroom sitting room. I hope you enjoy. How many pants? Like five <laughs> at a time. Why, why are you putting on so many pairs of pants? Uh, maybe, maybe this one doesn't work. Maybe that one doesn't work. Maybe they, it doesn't fit because you have so, <laughs> so many pairs of pants on. All right, so now you're down to... <clears throat> <laughs> it's like Wait. three pairs on right now. He has a blue one, a gray one with the camo shorts. Now and now the black ones. ones. <laughs> I love them. I like black. I like black. You like the black ones? Yeah. Well, um, okay. So what? why do you need so many? So I can walk very well. That one works. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have what? Armor, um, uh, armor legs. Armor legs? Yeah. So... Why do you need armor legs? So I can punch somebody? Well, that's not very nice. Mm, but like if that. See? Like Is that, that funny, Tim? 
that. But that doesn't protect me. I need armor. I need armor. You don't need armor. I, you, I will get you closer. Can I punch you in the butt? I can punch you in the knuckle. <laughs> what? <laughs> the phone. Wait, but Bubba doesn't have armor pants on. You have one. You only have one pair of pants, Bubba. I don't want to be smashed. You don't want to be smashed. <laughs> this is his fighting technique. Just I think wail your arms everywhere. Both of you need to work on your fighting technique. It's a lot like high school girl fighting. So now you only have three pairs of pants because yeah. that one wasn't working out. Huh? Are you going to sleep in these pants? Yeah. We were just talking.